Hello everyone, I hope you're doing well. Today I'm going to show you how to run Android TV on your PC or laptop. Look at how smooth this is. I'm running it right on my laptop. This isn't a TV, it's just an old laptop with 2 gigabytes RAM and the performance is amazing. The speed is unbelievable. So, in this video, I'll walk you through how to install Android TV 13 on a pen drive and run it on any PC. Before we start, I have a small request. Please like the video and subscribe to support my channel. First of all, click on first link in the description and you will come to this Google Drive. Here, you'll need to download these two files. Once you've downloaded both files, then we have to download another tool to make our USB bootable. Open a new tab and search for Rufus. Open the first website. Now, scroll down and download the latest version of Rufus. Once all files are downloaded, now extract the main file. Inside, you'll find more options. You can choose based on your pen drive size. I recommend the 4GB option because it gives you 4GB of usable storage on Android TV. Then delete the another one. Next. Open Rufus. Select your pen drive. Remember, this will erase all existing data, so back it up first. Then, select the Android TV ISO file. Click Start and confirm the prompts. The process will take a few minutes. While installing Android TV, if you face any issue, you can ask me in the comments. I will be happy to help you. Once it's done, close Rufus. After that, go back to the extracted folder. Copy the file named data and paste it into the root directory of your pen drive. And your Android TV bootable pen drive is ready. Now to try it, restart your PC. When PC restarts, press boot key of your PC. Usually it's F9, F10 or F12. It's different for different PCs. When you enter in the boot menu, select your USB and press enter. Now you will see Android TV boot menu. When you boot, you'll notice there are several kernel options. If you're using a laptop with an external display, you can choose a different kernel. In most cases, one of them will work fine. On my system, all worked, but I found one that runs best, so I stick with that. The setup process is straightforward. Connect to Wi-Fi or Ethernet, log in with your Google account, and you're ready. After signing in, you can install apps directly from the Google Play Store. Navigation works with the keyboard and mouse, but you can also pair a Bluetooth remote, just like on a real Android TV. So that's Android TV 13 running on a PC. It's fast, smooth, and feels just like a smart TV. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you found it helpful, 
Don't forget to subscribe to the channel.